Good day, everybody. My name is Rana Alnazia Bulos. I'm Director Business Development at ITEP Institute. On behalf of our president, Dr. Klaus Ritter, and our partner, Team Academy, based in Tunisia, I welcome today 173 participants from 54 countries and hope that we all enjoy this virtual ports and logistics summits of today. For the very beginning, please let us know in our first poll from where you are currently attending this virtual summit. The results we're going to display later on. As we all know, to facilitate greater trade with the world, African ports need to embrace innovation, automation, and simplification by investing in the right business solutions that offer end-to-end -end transportation management, connected warehouse management, vessel and container track and trace, improved hub logistics, African ports can take a step closer toward enriching this continent. Our institute seeks to promote and enable to improve infrastructure development activities in Africa with the expertise of European and global companies by creating a network that fosters continuous dialogue amongst its members, especially in these pandemic days. This is a great opportunity to get connected with professionals from all over the world and especially from Africa and get in touch closer, not face-to-face, -face, but virtual. We are having participants from all over the world, global ports operator, consultants, associations, representatives of political authorities, as well as investors. During the next three hours, we will have more, we're gonna hear more about challenges of African ports and get more solutions and technologies. Please have a look into our pinned video on the platform to get to know about all the possibilities of getting connected, networking. You can chat with each other. You can ask questions in our live Q&A sessions. You can connect directly with our exhibitors and get also in touch with them via video by one and to one meetings. You can scroll their documents and watch our, the um, videos that they have presented. Finally, I would like to extend a big thank you to our speakers, keynote speaker, Lars Greiner, to our moderators, Mr. Azedin Kasim, Dr. Martin Schramm, and all our panelists and exhibitors. A special thank you to our content partner, HBC Hamburg Port Consult. Now I would like to give the floor to Mr. Amin Idris Adoum, our special guest, who will, on behalf of Dr. Ibrahim Mayaki, the CEO of NEPAD Agency, stress out the importance of African ports development and why global exchange is important. Coordinating the African Union Development Agency, Auda NEPAD, Mr. Amin Idris accelerates quality implementation and delivery of programs in infrastructure, energy, and environmental sustainability. Amin, please, the floor is now yours. Good morning, Rana, and thank you. Thank you to all participants. So on behalf of Dr. Mayaki, the CEO of uh, the uh, NEPA, allow me to express our gratitude to the uh, Euro Institute for Information and Technology Transfer uh, in Environmental Protection for organizing this very important uh, meeting. Uh, Oda NEPAD uh, is at the forefront of continental efforts to provide African countries with uh, necessary tools to mobilize synergies and resources to provide sufficient, sustainable, affordable, but also reliable infrastructure, not for our communities and our citizens. 
So the African uh, Union Development uh, Agency is therefore at the forefront of continental uh, efforts to provide African countries with all uh, the necessary tools, you know, to solve uh, their uh, problems. So when it comes to to, to the port uh, issues, and despite actually the impact of COVID, uh, the expansion and modernization of African ports to make them uh, more efficient, but also able to handle a large volume of cargo with reduced uh, transit time is vital to boosting African uh, intra-African uh, trade as envisaged by the CFT, which is the Continental Free Trade Area. And we really hope that this uh, conference will take uh, the time to deliberate on this aspect. So project preparation remain, remain a key challenge, we believe, you know, for the effective uh, delivery of uh, infrastructure projects and ports are not really exceptions. So as such, uh, ODNEPAD uh, has developed the PIDA service delivery uh, mechanism to provide advisory services to support and uh, provide project preparation and early stage you know, to all uh, actually uh, all uh, projects uh, or uh, uh, projects providers to all the people who are actually, all the countries who have projects and that starts from early uh, project preparation uh, pre-feasibility and feasibility uh, study the ongoing uh, COVID-19 uh, pandemic is challenging you know all existing all existing framework and uh, approaches to our uh, investment, particularly uh, for infrastructure uh, delivery. But based on our expertise and uh, our assessment, we believe that Africa can still actually really push forward its own uh, agenda. Let me just uh, summarize. Odanepat remains uh, ready and committed to collaborate with all partners and stakeholders to reduce the observed impact of COVID-19 on port activities and to develop future action plan for building the Africa we want. In closing, uh, please uh, let me call your attention uh, to several opportunities that we really need to reinforce as we consider the development of African ports. Number one, Africa ports development need to be anchored in existing frameworks such as PIDA and ACFTA. Number two, project preparation is essential, actually, to attract investment. Number three, collaboration and coordination between the public and private sector is key from conceptualization all the way through to construction and commercialization. So I hope that uh, through the various uh, discussions, uh, you will consider those three aspects you know, for the African port development. Let me thank you again for your attention. And I wish you fruitful uh, conversation and deliberation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Amin. Thank you, Amin, once again. Um, I have been told that we have already the results. I just want to say that whatever you are, you are welcome in our summit. Well, 56% from home and 44% from work.